Oh. Ah! Ah! Daisy! How was I supposed to know you'd change rooms? Have you been gone four months? Well, yeah, but I thought you'd mention it on the phone or something. Well, maybe I couldn't get a word in edgeways with you droning on about your travels. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Joe. Must have been quite a shock. So which room's yours now, Stace? None of your business. You can sleep on the couch. Sorry. So you're going to do something or not? Will you relax, Mum? No, I will not relax. What are you two on about? Dad? Yeah? How do you fancy fish and chips for your tea? I thought we might catch a few. What? I've booked us a day's fly fishing over at Lake Mead. What, for trout? I haven't done that for years. I thought it might be nice. Are you serious? Oh, thanks, Lil. <laughs> all right, don't go mad. Uh, Karen? You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Um, I just gotta go, go have fun. Time of the month? Yeah. Got any milk? It's a student house. You've been staying in too many five star hotels. No, I stayed in some right dives. Except when I met my dad in New York. He was over on business and was like, hey Josh, come and stay in this boutique hotel for a few nights and that. That was awesome. Sounds great. Oh, I told you to jump on a plane. So, where's best? That depends on your definition of best. Um, I could say the beach is in Rio, but you probably punch me, right? Bye. Seriously, Stace. I wish you'd have come with me. Hey. What's this? Nicked it from one of those cheap hotels. You didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. There's a little shop in a cellar in Manhattan. All the Wall Street bankers buy perfume for their mistresses there. Serious? Yeah. Forgot it was in my pocket. <laughs> Set off the alarms at airport security. Thought they were going to shoot me. It was worth it though. So? Did you miss me? Maybe. But you're back here now. Back in my clutches. <laughs> You seem bright and breezy. Why not? Holidays stretching out into the distance. You know what? You deserve it. You really do. I don't really. You know, after everything. I'm fine. Actually, if it wasn't for the partners, I'd be working right up to Christmas. Well, I'll make the most of it. Have a good break. Yeah, I intend to. Fairy cakes. Mm -hmm. I've put some lemon peel in them, Aww. just the way that he likes them. Not too much icing. Oh, they look delicious. Mm -hmm. The doctors have their cures, and I have mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice to see him OK, isn't it? Yeah. It's my mission to make sure that he stays that way. Still don't understand why you swapped the big room for the little cheapy in the back. It's like a cupboard. I'm going for a shower. Now, that's a great idea. On my own. But... Oh, stay, 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 come on! Here we go. Hello. It's Nurse Nightingale. Just went some cakes to the needy. Or greedy, to be more precise. I brought this on. I'm OK. I am A-OK. -okay. Seriously. You keep saying that, but I worry. Don't. But Simon, it was an awful thing. I can't see how you can put it behind you. Not, not like that. Have a cake. When I was a student, I did a stint in maternity. Three weeks in, we lost a baby. One day a student, the next day, well, holding death right there in my hand. At the time, you just get on with your job, but later, the absolute enormity of it hits you. 
and you think this is ridiculous. I can't do this. But you wake up, go to work, and you find that somehow you can. This is different, isn't it? I guess what I'm trying to say, and I know it's a cliche, is that it comes with the territory. We're doctors. We see life. We see death. And we deal with it. Because we have to. Hmm. Quite sort of lemony. Nice. <laughs> Better. I feel like a new woman. Yeah, me too. It was a joke. So listen, fancy lunch today? Yeah, we haven't got much in, but I can go down to the corner shop if you like. Look, Stace, when I said lunch, I meant lunch. Let's go to town. Ooh, let's get tapas. I can show off my Spanish. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I don't know. Am I missing something here? It's just that... You found someone else? If so, tell me. I I'm gone. No. Lunch. Yeah, look, it'll have to be a late one because I've got a hand in an assignment. But, yeah, let's go Spanish. My treat. That's more like it. <laughs> so, that is meant to be a fly? Yeah. Trout are predators, you see. It's dog-eat-dog -dog out there. Right. Come on, let's give it a go. Glasses on. What did that young fella say? Let the rod do the work. Right. Easy. That's it, you're getting the hang of it now. You know, I'm not sure I really want to catch a slimy fish. But yeah, there are worse places to hang out, I guess. Anyway, I have been fishing with you before. When you were about five. <laughs> and you got really cross. But that's because you tipped a whole tub of maggots into the picnic. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I've told you before, I don't want to hear about it again. Oh, what's the matter? Dad. Oh, I've got it caught now, and I've lost my fly. You okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Really? I'm all right, seriously. I just, um, I'm just a little bit worried about Rob, that's all. It's, anyway, crying's good for you. Is it? Yeah. Ask Elaine. It's a, it's a recognised de-stressing therapy. She does it all the time, apparently. All right. Well, uh, I have to remember that. Make my patients cry. See how that goes down. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Can we just walk round a bit and try another spot? Patience. It's all part of the fun. <sighs> Is this about Mum? What? 
Well, she's been doing that stupid water drinking thing. No. She's all right. If you say so. I thought we were here to unwind. I could do with a bit of that at the moment, to be honest. I've had a lot on my plate just recently. Like what? You can talk to me, you know. Dad! Let's have our picnic. Why won't you tell me? Because it's not nice. I'm not a kid. OK, so do you want to tell me about your symptoms? Well, obviously there's a rash, but I've had a cold for what seems like a year. Definitely since the start of term. So a severe cold, flu? I'm just always light there in the background, making you feel a bit down. OK. My boyfriend's just come back from travelling. Can't let him see me like this. <laughs> Well, if he's your boyfriend, I'm sure he won't mind, and if he does, he's probably not worth it, though. <sighs> Maybe. Right, should we take a look? Standing in her kitchen. Listening to her tell me what she'd done to her little girl. Why she'd done it. Maybe we all made the same mistake. We didn't want it to be the mother. We were looking for it to be anybody else. And you're thinking to yourself, please, please don't let it be the mum. Love? You see it on the TV? on the news and you just think, how could they? People are complicated. Oh, I don't know. It's so depressing that people can do stuff like that to a little kid. Oh, what is wrong with the human race? It's only the odd one. Makes me feel sick. The rest of us spend our time trying to stop it happening, don't we? Yeah. Well, you do. Come on. We're supposed to be fishing. <sighs> OK, do you want to take a seat again? Hey, the ration itself is not a big problem. I can prescribe an ointment that'll help clear that up. Well, that's good. Uh, but you do seem a bit run down. Now, I know student life as a way of making you tired, too many late nights, too much to drink. That'd be about right. Well, I don't drink much, actually. I've been working at a pizza place, so obviously I can't get drunk at work. OK, you eating properly? Yeah, like I said, I work at a restaurant. Is that in between studying, I guess? <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't done much of that lately. Really? You know what it's like. You know it's not about that, is it? Yeah, well, as long as you get the degree at the end, otherwise it's just one big expensive party, isn't it? <laughs> right, I need to um, put this on three times a day till the rash goes. If, uh, if the rash persists, then come back and see me. In the meantime, try and get some rest and uh, try not to burn the candle at both ends for a bit. OK. Hmm, <laughs> this one looks good. Yeah, some of them quite cheap, too. Christmas, anyway. What's this? Your big romantic holiday in Cape Town? No. It's for you. We thought that you could do with a nudge. Nudge? More like a kick in the... In the right direction, yes. Trekking in the Gobi Desert. What are you trying to do to me? I'd rather... Actually, no, I can't think of anything worse than that. Oh, no, hang on. Swimming with sharks. This is me, remember? It's just ideas, Simon. We don't want you sitting around on your... Sofa? Sofa! All Christmas. I won't. Right, I think one of these. I'm going to finish them off before I go. Yes, please. Make sure you don't fly off anywhere before Friday. Hmm? Ruth's leaving party. Oh? Party? 
Who said party? Drinks, Heston said. Mm, drinks, then? Mm, I don't want a party. I'm not a leaving party person. Well, let's just call it drinks, then. OK. <laughs> Dos cerveza. Two beers. How did you know that? I studio in Spanish, GCSE. <laughs> what does that mean? I uh, did Spanish GCSE. <laughs> Excellent. Shows you how much I know about you, a fat zilch. But it could come in handy, because guess what? My uncle's got a place in Marbella. Cool. Well, yeah, but you and me, we're going to stay there. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. We finally spent some time together. You want to? Yeah, but, but when? Whenever you like. Hop on a plane. It's still warm out there. M my mum's expecting me at Christmas. Fine. Uh, New Year, then. Just you and me. You ever been? No. Oh, it's party central. You up for that? Fantastic. Stacey, you OK? You're looking a bit like you might yak up everywhere. You know, I'm fine. Stacey! Stacey! You OK? What happened? Oh, she just collapsed, went down. Yeah, come on, sit her up. OK? Stacey, isn't it? Oh, let's get you to the surgery. OK? Yeah. Yeah? Do you really think we'll catch anything in this rain? We might catch a cold. <laughs> Last cast, eh? For luck, and then we'll go home. I'm sorry, Amy. I shouldn't have said anything. No, you should. I'm glad that you told me. Are you? Because we forget, don't we? Back at home, it's like you come in and Mum goes, you lay your tea's in the oven, and you go, who's been using my razor blades? Will you just tell me if you're going to use the last one I've had to go to work with half a bog roll stuck to me face? <laughs> you forget what you do and, and what you have to say. You're doing it for real. People at home watching it on the telly go, oh, that's horrible. Where's the remote? You're there so other people don't have to be. Not normally that bad. So, yeah, you should have told me. What's this? A present. A lucky pebble for my hero. Thank you. Oh, look at you. When did you grow up, eh? Seems like yesterday you were tipping maggots onto the picnic. OK. Yeah. OK, all done. How are you feeling? Hey, all right. Any nausea? Oh, that was weird. It just went black. Have your symptoms worsened since this morning? Not really. This morning? Yeah, I wasn't feeling so good, so I came to see the doctor. Seemed all right. Yeah, well, I've got a bit of a rash. A rash? What, like an STI or something? No! Is that why your hair's falling out? What? Yeah, there was loads of it in the plug hole. Ah, uh, you never mentioned hair loss. Well, it's embarrassing. OK, Stacey, do you want to take me through your diet, just what you've been eating recently? Coffee for breakfast, black. I need the caffeine. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe toast and some crisps at lunch. Maybe a couple of bags. And in the evening? Well, I usually eat at the restaurant after my shift. Maybe some pizza or some chips. Well, right, not really five a day, though, is it? OK, uh, look, I'll let you know the results of the blood test as soon as it's back, but I think you may be suffering from malnutrition. What? Well, she's in Africa or something. Uh, Stacey, I just don't think you're getting the nutrients that you need. Uh, vitamins, minerals, iron, they're all probably seriously lacking. By eating last thing at night, you're not digesting your food properly. By skipping breakfast and running on caffeine, then you're burning what resources your body has left. That is mad. It's time to change your habits. Get to the supermarket, fill a trolley full of fruit and veg, and eat it. Thought you were looking a bit dodgy. Oh, thanks, a lot. Well, it's not that hard, is it, eating proper food? I've got a clue, have you? Uh, why don't you sit down for a couple of minutes? Not clever, Stace. Eating rubbish. What's the point? The point? I'm skint, Josh. What are you talking about? 
You, with your dad's credit card, I spent all of last year trying to keep up. Oh, come on, Stace. It's all a bit dramatic, isn't it? Well, you've been swanning around the world, lying on beaches. I've been working every night to try and save up enough money to pay off my overdraft and see you at Christmas. Which means that I am way behind on my uni work. They're probably going to make me do it again. And how, how am I going to afford that? I'll probably just end up with massive debts and no degree. And it's all down to you. Yep. Hey, come to get my tin back unless you've eaten that as well? No, nope. but I have eaten all the crumbs. <laughs> you will look after yourself, won't you? Yes, of course. And you? I'll see you on Friday. And you do know that I love you? Yes. <laughs> if you're broke, then you've got to call your mum. My mum's got no money. She's got a farm? No, she hasn't. What? But... There's no farm, no money, just a massive overdraft. I couldn't tell you that, could I? Why? We would like, come to Marbella, hop on a flight to New York. I mean, what, what do you want me to say? That's mad. Remember this? You bought it for a pound from that place in the market. Just a joke. Yeah. But I've worn it ever since. Doesn't that say something? Look, I hung out with you because I like you. Got any other secrets? Don't have a go at me. This is your fault, Josh. No! No way! I didn't ask you to lie, Stacey. That's down to you. See, I, I knew you wouldn't want me if I told you. You haven't listened to a thing I've said, have you? Stupid. Still. I've learnt my lesson to stick to your own level. Well, if there's a lesson there, it's that he likes you. You just have to believe it. What are you going to do? Are you really going to leave it there? Do you think I should go after him? He did say he liked me, though, didn't he? Do you think he means it? Definitely. Only one way to find out. Rick, why don't you head home? I'll lock up. You sure? Yeah, absolutely. See you Friday. Yeah, hi. I've just been looking at your winter breaks brochure for Marrakesh. Yeah, the place in the picture, is that actually the Hotel Grand Bazaar? No, no, it looks great. I was just wondering about availability. Hello, Marv. How'd you get on? You've had a good day. Well, I have made you a fisherman's pie and it's just going in the oven. You knew we wouldn't catch anything, didn't you? Well, I mean, you haven't done it for ages. The main thing is to have a good time. Yeah, of course it is. But you don't fancy any lovely, fresh trout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you clever thing. You didn't go to the supermarket, did you? No? OK, I'll put this in the freezer. And Immy caught one. Yeah, I wanted to put him back, but he wouldn't let me. Listen, I'm going to get a shower, fish line. Oh, thanks, love. Well, that's it now, isn't it, eh? I've got a fishing buddy for life. Uh, yeah, right, Dad. So... Was that your idea, then? No, it wasn't. Really? Oh, she's a good girl, that one. Do you want to go to fish? Oh, yes, please, blur. So tell me. How are you feeling right now? I feel very sad about what happened. A holiday should help. Sit by the pool. You have to understand that as doctors we can only ever go by what we see. 
then you really are blind. No, all the clinical evidence... You undermined me. You undermined me, and it was so easy. I mean, the social worker's always wrong, right? You read it in the papers all the time. What about the million times when we are right? You don't read about that. I never meant to do that. You never meant to? Of course you did. Because you're obsessed with being right. You just wouldn't leave it. I even started to doubt myself. You worked away and you worked away and all the time, that poor little girl. You worked away to discredit the one person that was trying to protect her. Just because you wanted to be right. Well, you were wrong. And now she's dead! <laughs> so you go on holiday. You'll never get away from that. You are disgusting. Pinky and Pinky gone mud. I'm leaving on Saturday. I've got to get this sorted. It's already sorted. Goodbye. <laughs> are you planning on robbing a grotto? Do you know how much that presentation meant to me? I know that you're upset. You have no idea. All that work, for what? 